and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I am going to be continuing my rainbow baking videos. In my previous video, I made some rainbow cupcakes. But today, I'm going to be using all the results I have to make a rainbow sponge cake. I don't know why I've been making lots of stuff with rainbows, but I think they're great. So before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And without further ado, let's get started. So for me to make my very own rainbow cake, here are the things I'm going to need. 175 grams of butter 175 grams of caster sugar 3 eggs 175 grams of self-raising flour 1.5 teaspoons of baking powder and food colouring so you can actually make it look like it's a rainbow. So before we start with the baking, make sure to put on your apron, tie your hair back if it's long, and wash your hands. So the first thing that I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 160 degrees. This is usually around 6 o'clock on here, 6 o'clock, 160, and I'm also lined up my cake cases with parchment paper. Okay, now that the oven is on, I'm going to mix all of the ingredients together, so I'm going to start off with the butter. Rest of the butter in. Butter is in. Now we're going to add the sugar. You'll have to break down some of the lumps. Those are a few lumps of sugar. There was a tiny bit of egg yolk, like egg crack, but this bit of the eggshell in my batter. I don't really want that in there. And my third egg is there. I'm going to add the flour in. And then I'm going to add in the baking powder. Now this is a tricky bit because sometimes it spills. I'm going to I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I put the baking powder into a bowl, making it easier. So I'm going to start off with the one teaspoon. One teaspoon. And then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of baking powder. This is a bit much, so I'm going to... That's all my ingredients in. Now that all the ingredients are in, I'm going to whisk them all together before moving on to the next step. And 
And the next step is to add your colours. This is how it looks. So I'm going to get my colours and I'm going to show you how I did it once it's done. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put my cake mix into the two tins. So I think what we're going to do is like I'm going to put it in here and then we're going to put the colours onto the thing. And then do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the colours and the skewer to mix it around here. Hi chef! Hello! My rainbow cakes are now ready. We put like the colours into different sections and then once we were ready they were swirling in and now we're going to cook them in the oven for 25 minutes but I always cook them for 20 minutes and then I take the take the skewer to make sure that it comes out clean and if it doesn't then I put it back in the oven and if it is clean then we leave them on the rack. My cakes are now ready to cook for 20 minutes. I went on at 27 minutes, so I'll click at 47 minutes, and I'll see you when they've been for 20 minutes. My cakes are now out of the oven. There are some cream bits, but that was going to happen. So now I'm going to leave them to cool down before decorating. I put this in at 47 minutes but there was still a little bit of dye in it so I cooked it over a few more and now it's done. And this is the finished cake. I put raspberry jam in the middle and then I put the red Ring on first and then the blue ring and then the purple and I added some sprinkles looks really good and I'll see you when it comes to tasting it I have got my cake and I am going to taste it let's see if my cake tastes as good as it looks Tastes really good. I'm done. I'm gonna make this again. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing me make a rainbow cake. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.